The raccoon is a pushy animal. It'll consider the house its big hole and will use the property as he pleases. But one thing is, when a raccoon comes into the house as an uninvited guest, and quite another to turn it into an urban pet. Getting along with an adult wild raccoon is almost impossible. Therefore, taming begins right from birth. It is only when a human replaces its raccoon mother can it become a pet. We need to feed him milk in a bottle. We need to give him a tummy massage. Without it, he cannot go to the toilet and it will die. We need to warm it up. Raccoons don't have a good thermoregulation of the body and very often they catch a cold or get pneumonia, they get sick heavily or overheat. Natalia Kaledina has tamed several dozen raccoons. It all began with two pets, who Natalia performed with in the circus arena. Since the time when she took work home, led her fluffy artist to her house, raccoons have forever occupied her living space. The house of the trainer turned into the house of raccoons. They breed fluffy predators and prepare them for adoption into urban families. We don't give small raccoons away until they are two and a half or three months old, but we really try to give them away at the age of five months old. During this time, the raccoon is fully accustomed to food, he's accustomed to independent life, and most importantly, it knows that people are good, that people are his friends. But before giving a raccoon to a new family, the future owners are offered a brief acquaintance with it. It takes only 30 minutes of communication, and 8 out of 10 people who wanted to take a raccoon for upbringing permanently reject the idea. It only seems from a distance that you can't find a creature cuter than them. But it only takes to find yourself in their company when you begin to understand that they are much more small robbers, unceremonious and tireless and literally turn your house into chaos in just a few minutes. The raccoon's behavior is very similar to a human child's behavior of a three to five years old. It's just as naughty, it's just as curious. It also needs a mom. It also likes to cuddle. It also needs toys. It really likes any toys you've noticed, haven't you? But even a tamed urban animal retains the instincts of a forest animal. The wild character of the raccoons was experienced by our film crew too. The entire team was tried by the little bandit's teeth. Bites, of course, are not fatal, but for an unprepared person, they are quite painful. But this is not an adult raccoon, just a teenager who isn't angry, but is only playing. The future owner should be ready for the fact that the raccoon communicates using claws. It's hugging like a child with its hands, only on these hands there are sharp, very sharp claws and scars will be appearing for sure. You cannot escape them. And when the raccoon has moods, and even a well-behaved child can have moods, the raccoon bites, bites hard, puts his teeth and claws into use. Sometimes you need to visit a first aid center and put the stitches on those wounds. Why are raccoons so attractive? Even with all their hooligan habits, there are still people ready to happily give them square meters in their city apartments. It turns out that having a raccoon in a house is like raising a child. The animal for a wild animal, has quite a high intellect and is very amenable to learning. Raccoon is trained like a five-year-old. You show what you need to do and suggest doing this to a raccoon and maybe not at the first attempt, but he will do it from, say, the 20th time. He will repeat after you. Of all animals, it is only the primates who have the ability to repeat after someone, no one else, and the raccoons. And we speak words of praise and give a delicious treat to the raccoon for this. The raccoon begins to repeat this action with great perseverance, demanding more delicious food. I've understood how to control a human. That's what I should do. When zoologists studied the intellectual abilities of raccoons, they discovered that these animals could open 11 out of 13 complex locks. If the locks were interchanged, the raccoons easily recalled how each of them unlocked. Scientists found out that the raccoon uses abstract thinking, remembers the algorithm of actions and stores it in its memory for three years. 
The only thing that raccoons categorically refuse to perform is the order, you mustn't. There are no prohibitions for them. A raccoon is capable of carrying a cunning plan for a long time. One day he'll catch the moment when he isn't controlled, and he'll certainly do what he is forbidden to. If a dog can be trained, it will be a perfect obedient animal. The raccoon is an individual. It is impossible to train it to unconditional submission. It'll never obey. It's closer to the cat. I understand, master, what you want. I'll take this into consideration. And maybe in the near future, I'll consider it. It won't perform if it doesn't need it. And one more thing. No matter how strong and mutual the raccoon's affection for a human is, he'll remain faithful to him until the owner's first mistake. As soon as there is the slightest opportunity to escape to freedom, the raccoon will certainly take advantage of it. Such is the nature of a wild animal. Even the most comfortable conditions in a limited space for it is a prison. And you cannot explain this to a raccoon, that the chances of survival in the concrete jungle are almost zero.